Hi there, and welcome to The Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life, using real food, and we keep it real simple. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple pasta with vegetables. But you could change it up and add all kinds of different vegetables and make it how you love it, or make it with what you have on hand. That's the beauty of this kind of a dish. So it's super easy. The prep actually takes longer than the cook time. So what I did was I cut up about six little mini peppers, which are these little guys, or you could use two assorted bell peppers, maybe a red and an orange or something like that. And I just cut them into little rings. Wasn't even too worried about the size of them, but they're probably about a half of an inch, I would say. And then I sliced two cups of cherry tomatoes in half. I zested one lemon. We're also gonna use the lemon juice out of this. And I took one full bulb of raw garlic, not roasted, raw garlic, and I took the cloves out and I just smashed them with my knife. So I've peeled the paper off and I've smashed them. So one full bulb, and it will not be overpowering, I promise. Minced garlic's a little bit different, but if you didn't have a bulb of garlic and you had some minced garlic in a jar, I would use about a teaspoon of the minced garlic to make up for the whole bulb of you know, the whole cloves, which I really recommend in this recipe. It just adds such a delicious, mild flavor of the garlic. And then I have one cup or one medium-sized Vidalia onion. Actually, this is probably two cups. Well, let's see, find out. One and, one and a half cups of diced up onion, about a quarter of an inch dice. I have eight ounces of angel hair pasta. Now you can cut all of this in half if you wanted to make a smaller portion. It works fine, that's how I tested the recipe. And, and I think you can probably even increase it if you wanted to do a full pound of the angel hair. And I have two cups of fresh spinach. Okay, baby spinach is what I'm using, but any anything, even if it's you know the bigger leaves, it would be fine. Now, I think one of the key ingredients in this dish, for me anyway, is this Miner's vegetable base. And I talk a lot about the Miner's uh, bases because I think that they are so fantastic. I mean, they have so much flavor. And this is the vegetable one. Now, if you didn't have this, and you can't get it at the store, unfortunately, it is something that you have to order off of Amazon. I will link to it below. But if you didn't have this, you could use vegetable stock or you could use chicken stock. That would be perfectly fine. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of this in two cups of water. So if you were gonna use broth, use two cups of broth, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started with pressure cooking. We're gonna go under pressure for zero minutes. And this is how easy this dish is. You're gonna put in your onions. We don't even have to saute or anything like that. We're gonna put in our garlic. We're gonna put in our peppers. We are not going to put in our tomatoes. All right, now we're gonna get our angel hair pasta in. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this. And I wanted to talk about the pros and the cons of each. Usually I recommend breaking it in half and fanning it around. That's what I'm gonna do in this dish just because it made it a lot easier. But you don't have to do that. You can take your whole pasta and fan it around and just try to keep it apart as much as possible and then pour your water in and go under pressure. That works, but what happens is when you release the pressure and you open up the lid, you're gonna see some of the angel hair kind of clumping together. Now, when we stir in the rest of the vegetables and kind of do a little quick saute, the clumping goes away and it's absolutely delicious, um, but you, but, but it's another step and it looks like, oh my gosh, I ruined something. You didn't, you know, but it's a little bit easier to do it this way, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna take the angel hair and I'm just gonna fan it out all along the pot. So I'm gonna go in opposite orders. This is the same way that I do my spaghetti recipe. There we go. I'm gonna do that for all of the pasta. All right, then we have our two cups of water and I'm gonna add in the two teaspoons of this vegetable base, which I just happen to love. We're not gonna add in our tomatoes yet. Probably need a little knife to get that out, right? <laughs> there it goes. All right, that's 
perfect. Just give it a little stir. Now it's not gonna dissolve or anything like it would if it was a powder, but I'll just get it mixed up the best I can. All right, that's good. And now we're gonna pour this in. move that around. It'll all get mixed in at the end. Don't worry about it. Now I'm going to get my lemon and cut it in half and juice it in there. All right, there we go. Oh, you know what? Real quick, before I do the other one, let me talk about this real quick because I want you to, um, to be able to see that I don't have any of the white pith in my zest because that makes it bitter. So I was really careful. I used a microplane and I just very gently went over the skin here to get just that zest, none of the underlying uh, white part around here. That's bitter and it's called the pith, just so you know. All right, there we go. Now we've got the lemon juice in. Now that is it, okay? That's all the ingredients that go in right now. And we're gonna put the pressure lid on. We want high pressure, but we're gonna take this all the way to zero. Okay, no minutes. What that means is that the time that it takes to bring the pot up to pressure with these two cups of liquid is going to be sufficient to cook the pasta enough because we do have a little saute step. Now, it works the same though, even if you use a half of a batch. So if you're using four ounces of pasta and one cup of water, I have tested it that way. It works fine. Still stick with the zero minutes, okay? All right, there we go. Turn the valve in the back to the seal position so that we go under pressure. And it's probably going to take about five to 10 minutes for the pot to come under pressure. Once it does, it's going to beep that it's done and we're going to do an immediate release. All right, so steam is starting to come out and that, it took probably about seven minutes. I wasn't timing though uh, for that to start to happen. So you're going to see the steam come out. The red button just popped up. This is going to flash zero, zero, and then it's gonna immediately switch to the keep warm, at which time I'm going to do an immediate release of the pressure. So sometimes there is a delay between the time that the button, whether you have a newer model with a silver button or like I do the red button, there's sometimes a delay between the two. Don't worry about that. There we go. So it went zero, well, actually, I think it was four zeros, then done. Now it will switch over and I'm gonna immediately release this pressure. All right, the red pin has dropped. We can open up the lid. Do that away from you because it is steamy. And it's gonna look like nothing right now. Now we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients and get it stirred up. So I've got those cherry tomatoes. And I got the assorted kind and they were just gorgeous. I love them, but any kind will do. Lemon zest. All right, our four cups of spinach. And now we just toss it around. We're gonna add in a little butter, but you wanna get that, the spinach underneath the pasta and in that heat so it starts to wilt. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. All right, let's put in our butter. Four tablespoons of butter, or you could use olive oil, that's fine. I like the way the butter flavors it though. We're also gonna put in about a half of a teaspoon of salt. Now if you wanted to, you could wait on this. Um, until you were serving it and just have people salt it. But I think it needs just that little bit of salt. So that's a half of a teaspoon of fine grind sea salt, not table salt. All right, let's keep going with this. It looks gorgeous. And now for the cheese. So you could use any kind of hard cheese that you like. I'm using uh, a Parmesan and I grated it up with 
a microplane grater. This is actually three quarters of an ounce. So it ended up being about three quarters of a cup. So one ounce is about a cup finely grated like this. And we're gonna grate the other, um, the other bit to make up full ounce on top. Put that in. This is just developing the sauce. So we have like a little bit of a, of that lemon, lemon butter sauce. It is beautiful. It smells amazing. All right, turn the Ninja Foodie off. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a dish that I would present on the table for serving. on top. Oh. Now, if you wanted to change up the vegetables, you certainly can. You just need to keep in mind how long they're gonna take to cook and what consistency you want. And then you can determine whether you put them in after the fact, after the pressure cook time, or if you put them in before the pressure cook time. But there you go. It is lovely. It's gorgeous. And most important, it tastes good. All right, so let's get a little bit out here. Get a cherry tomato and some garlic. A little bit of spinach. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Put that back in and then somebody else can serve themselves. Now, you could also have a little bit of Parmesan cheese just to put over the individual serving. And what I like to do is crack some pepper on top. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Smells so good. Oh my goodness, that lemon, the butter, garlic clove. Mm. Mild, I promise you. Use the whole bowl. It is absolutely delicious. All right, you can switch this up. Oh, and one thing, if you wanted to use spaghetti instead of angel hair, because that's what you have on hand, you can do that. Just increase your pressure cook time to about two minutes. If it's not done to your liking after the two minutes, Put the sear saute on and just saute it a little bit more. Add in a little bit more broth or water if you need to. You can definitely adapt this to anything you have on hand and make it delicious and make it yours.